Hello everyone, today I'm gonna be teaching you new language which is right in front of you. Yeah, that's right, it's Java. And I'm gonna be teaching you how you can move your cursor without touching the mouse and how you can get the position of cursor. Hey, this is future me and I want to tell you guys something. By the time I'm recording this, only 13.3% of you viewers are subscribed. So please hit that subscribe button. It means a lot to me. Remaining 86.3% of you guys are not subscribed, but I don't know why if you add 13.3 and 86.3 it doesn't equal to 100% it just equals to 99.6% and I don't know how that's possible but yeah it is and the next thing I want to tell is this is gonna be the last video of the year and hope you guys have a nice 2021 so now you can continue watching your video and enjoy so I don't have much over here I just have package Java and all this stuff is created by the compiler itself. You can compile this using CMD if you want, if you don't have a compiler. But I'm gonna be using compiler cause it has this editor and it's very nice. I'm using NetBeans if you want to install it. So first thing we are gonna do is we are gonna throw a exception which is AWT exception and uh, now you can see just prompted up and it's saying that pasted code refers to the following not imported elements and you can just include them that's why i use compiler okay it just automatically imports everything now we are going to be needing a bunch of awt stuff so you can just put a star in front of dot over here or you can leave it like that now we are gonna be using robot class for this but first we need to take input from user so i'm gonna declare a scanner over here and i'm gonna be naming it scan equals new scanner and we have to give it system in dot n and now as you can see the scanner is underlined so what you can do is press alt enter and then it will give a bunch of options over there and you can click on the first option which is import java util dot scanner you can click it or press enter so i press enter and it has imported the package now you can do is scan what they enter so first thing we need to ask them if you have to get the cursor position or set the cursor position so we can do that by typing system dot out dot print ln and string so we can do is enter s or g s is to set the cursor position and g is to get the cursor position and uh, that's it for printing then we can scan it scan dot next line and uh, it will return a string so we can use string function at char to get first character so type zero over here now it's showing exclamatory mark over here because we are not storing in a variable so we will just do that in a second char c equals the statement okay now we can run if else statement if c equal equals capital s or just copy the c statement small s so this will accept both capital and small s if they press any of those it will work and then over here we need to create robot class so just type r o b o t and then name it anything you want i will name it r and set it equal to new robot and give it a semicolon now it's giving a underline over here and that you can fix by pressing alt enter and enter it will import the package awt.robot and once you create the robot it's for this scope only if scope now you can type r dot 
mouse move and it will be x and y so you can type 20 and 200 so the first one is x and second one is y so it will be over here somewhere like over here approximately and else if c okay wait we will just paste it c equals to capital g or it equals to small g so i'm not typing that fast i'm just pasting it okay i just previously copied it don't be confused now if you want to get the cursor position it's sort of different now type mouse i n f o now this is another class which we are using for getting the cursor position and you can use a dot once you use the dot you will get two options one is get number of buttons and another one is get pointer info and it will return pointer info class but we want the cursor position so press dot and get location this is the point variable so we are quickly making point variable over here p o i n t point p equals mouse info dot get pointer info dot get location now it has been added over here this class and um, we are gonna add this class too because we need it and it's been imported now you can see once we get the location we can print it so you can print it by doing capital s y s t e m system dot out dot print l n and now you can directly give it the point variable and it will print it like so in c you can't directly give a point variable in java it is already programmed to print it perfectly so you can directly give it now if we run this it is not in loop so it will just run once and then it will exit so let's uh, type g and enter and now you can see java dot awt dot point and as you can see the cursor position so here's how you can get it and to set it you need to run it again and now i will set it and as you can see my cursor went there now you can change it to variable and you can also add this entire thing to loop which i'm gonna do now i'm also gonna add the variables over here pretty quickly i may skip this part but still why do and do this and close the bracket over there and now i have to give it indent which will take me along okay i'm done indenting and now i have to change this to the variables so i'm gonna quickly int x and then press enter and I have int y and don't give a semicolon over there because we are gonna set it equal to this thing and we have to change the bit and instead of next line and star add zero you can do as next int and um, over here also do the same thing and um, in this you can set it x and y so now you can set it anywhere you want and it will be looping and it means you can do it as many times as you want now i'm gonna do the set here gonna try 37 space 400 and as you can see my cursor just teleported over there and now i can get the position and as you can see uh i have to use the cursor i can't point it with my finger okay so i'm moving the cursor now as you can see the cursor location has changed so hope you guys have enjoyed this project and the video too so if you enjoyed make sure you press the like button and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you want to continue watching my videos make sure you click the video that's showing up right now on the screen and have a nice day bye